Hi everyone and welcome to our coding time. Today we're going to be looking at CodeSpark and when I tap on CodeSpark you will notice that it takes a moment to load and gathering all the data. So you'll see our little friend jogging across. It might take yours a little bit longer, but I'm going to skip that school mode and I'm gonna go right up here to the school. I'm just gonna tap right on the school and it gives me the option for teachers or students. And today I am going to be a student and you will see that we have classroom code. I'm going to type in a code, but that code is only good for seven days. So your teacher is going to give you a code. It's going to keep you logged in for as long as you want to be logged in. So that could be days, weeks, or months. Um, if for some reason you get logged out and it's past the seven days, you're going to have to reach out to get a new, new code. So I'm going to tap in my code, and this code is specifically for me so don't try typing in this code it won't work for you so get the code from your teacher and I am ready to go and you will see that I am in Mrs. Caldwell's class and today I am Brody the dog and I get to pick Brody's avatar so I'm going to scroll through here and I'm not finding what I'm looking for as far as a dog. He would not be happy if I did the cat. So let's make him French fries. And I get to choose a name. And if I'm not sure, I can press the dice. And um, that still doesn't sound very good. Whew. Ah, that'll be fine. Brody will be happy with that one. All right, so you notice that there are lots to do here. Um, today we are going to go right into the puzzles and you will see that today we're going to be looking at sequencing and there are 51 challenges that await us. So let's tap on that and you will see that each level is going to be teaching us something to do with coding and level one has three stars so there's three chances to learn a little bit about what they're going to teach us. Now, the first time you open this up, it might ask you, could we have access to your camera roll or could we have access to your microphone? You can always hit allow because when we go into create some of the games um, by coding, we may want to add a photo, we may want to add our voice. So always hit allow. Um, on our first level, we have lots of hints from our app and they will not always be there. So now it's telling me to tap and boom, we got the donut. Now, you'll notice that I got three stars. If I do something wrong, but I still get the officer to the donuts, I might only get one or two stars. So your goal is to collect all three stars and you'll see at the bottom, do I wanna do it again? Nope, I got all three stars, I'm good. So I'm ready to move on. Now, you'll notice that the hand is not there telling us what to do, so it's up to me to click and drag. Now, I'm just going to purposely do this wrong, and now I'm going to touch, just so you can see what happens. Now, it's signaling me like, hey, lady, you did this wrong. So I'm going to start it again, and I'm going to try this way. Oh, still wrong. So you can see that um, I'm not doing so well. So it gave me two stars. And that's because it took me a while to learn how to do that. Now I can go back and revise my work and get three stars or I can move forward. The problem with moving forward is I may not have understood the concept that I needed to understand because the levels get harder. So I'm going to challenge you, don't go on, go back. Oh, 
There we go. All right, now I understood what I needed to do and I'm ready to go on to the next level. So that is the app that you're going to be working today. It's called CodeSpark. You're going to need a code to get into CodeSpark. You can get that from your teacher. It's going to be good for the next seven days. If by chance you get logged out within those seven days, then go ahead and put that code back in. It should work. But if you need a new code, you're going to have to reach out to your media specialist or your classroom teacher.